Well, welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you couldn't attend. Come inside, come inside. You know, I heard that song. I used to be a roadie for a band called Jericho. And when I, that was their opening song. When, when they started on stage, that's what they started with. But here we are. We're back in this basement again. Uh, if you look at a previous video, you'll see this was the grid ceiling that we hung to. Um, there's a lot of breaks and stuff, but there's nothing in, on the ceiling that I can't fix. I see some damage here and there, but there's nothing on the ceiling that I can't cut out, pre-fill, and fix. This ceiling's going to look beautiful. But what I really like about the ceiling is how flat it is. This is a very flat ceiling. This grid was done with a laser, and it just doesn't get any flatter than that, which is an awesome thing. But he did not want to put trim up. So, so I like to use this stuff. Uh, when, I'm, when I'm doing the edges and, uh, and I'm butting the drywall to the, uh, to the paneling. This is all paneling now. And he didn't want to drywall the paneling. He's just going to repaint the paneling. But we have this stuff here and it's called tearaway bead. And what happens is it goes into the ceiling like this and it goes up in there, goes tight to the wall. And after it gets all finished and I mud this all in, I just peel this away. I peel away this little this piece right here. And, I, and I've got a really nice finish now that he can just caulk in. He was hoping he could just caulk the ceiling to the walls. And he'll be able to do that easily since I'm putting the tearaway bead around the edges. But that's what I'm here doing now is tearaway bead. So uh, if you've never heard of it, it's great stuff. I, I use this all the time, button up to brick. Sometimes if this is drywall, this is drywall and you're buttoned up to brick, you can take this stuff and you can button it up to brick. And, but you need the gap, you need a half inch gap that this stuff can, can go into. You need half inch drywall. This is made for half inch drywall. If it's quarter inch, it won't work. It'll be pushing down. If it's three eighths inch, it won't work. But if it's half inch drywall, this works really well because it just goes on the edge of the half inch drywall and it covers it up beautifully, perfectly. And it's not any thicker than a half inch. And uh, so it's, it's great for finishing the edges of drywall. So that's all I got. You guys have a great day. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.